Hello and welcome. We are going to discuss how narcissism expresses itself in different signs of the zodiac. We are focusing on a, this, well, this particular discussion. We're going to focus on the sign of Virgo the Virgin. Now, Virgo the Virgin is shown here. It's the sixth sign regarding if you have a natural chart, they call it a natural chart. It's a natural sixth, sixth house and its habits and health. So we're going to focus this discussion on the sign of Virgo the Virgin. Okay. And again, we're focusing this particular discussion on that. So keep in mind that everyone has some nar narcissistic attributes and that a person without any narcissism would have such a weak personality devoid of any ego strengths at all that she or he could not function in society. So keep that in mind as, as we go through this and as we discuss it. So we're going to, again, we're going to go upon each one of these. We're going to focus, have a different video for each sign of the zodiac and how narcissism expresses in each of these signs, in each of these signs. Some, somebody asked me to, to put them all in one. Uh, and I, I appreciate the thought, but I, I really feel better doing them one at a time. It'll take a little longer, but it'll be more thorough when we get it done. So just, it, it will get done. It will get done. Okay. Now, narcissism refers to qualities in an individual of possessing self-love, egotism, self-centeredness, self-absorption, and conceit. The psychological profession describes a condition which they term as NPD, or narcissistic personality disorder. All right, that's how the psychiatric profession describes it. And this psychological syndrome presents with a person that lacks empathy for other human beings or other creatures requiring constant and also excessive respect, appreciation, approval, and high esteem coming from other people. Okay, coming from other people, they need to get that self-respect and that high self-esteem, we got to get it from other people, as well as being unable to participate in healthy relationships. So their need for this respect is so strong that they, it starts to interfere with their personal relationships and can, can even affect their ability to work with other people in their careers or their chosen field. So that's it's when it really starts to be a problem. So again, there's a, everybody has to have some of these narcissistic traits, some self-love and, and self-concern, but too much then we, we, it, it tilts, you know, you have to, it's like when you have a pendulum swinging between in Kabbalah's severity and mercy and you, you have too much, either too severe or too merciful, you've got to be more in the center, more balanced, more harmonized. But this one is about, again, Virgo. Okay, Virgo the Virgin, who's whose divine tone is, I analyze. So Virgo analyzes. So even though we've given you the definition of what narcissistic personality disorder or NPD is, even though we've, we've given you the description of what it is in the psychiatric profession or for psychologists and that kind of thing, uh, now, you know, even with that said, Nevertheless, this is not a discussion about the medical aspect of NPD. Rather, we are taking a look at normal individuals. Okay, we're talking about normal people and how narcissism expresses itself through each of the signs of the zodiac. And in this one, we're, this is the sixth sign, Virgo. This natural sixth house of habits and health. So again, it's going to be specific to each sign. Now, although I am a, a licensed registered nurse, I, I am not a psychologist. And even though I have worked in psychiatric units as a charge nurse, I've, I've worked in many, you know, I've worked in medical, surgical, and neonatal intensive care, and I've worked in, in telemetry. I've also worked in, in the psychiatric unit as a charge nurse, as a charge registered nurse. 
Um, I'm approaching this subject from the point of view of an astrologist. I'm not talking about this as a nurse. I'm not talking about it medically. I'm talking about it as an astrologist. Okay? So we just get that clear. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. I'm a Rosicrucian seer, Biblical astrologer, Christian psychic, and Gnostic mystic. And this is a Readings by Rosemary Angelic Transmission. And you'll probably notice in your life that a lot of nurses do get interested in in like healing with spiritual methods of healing and alternative methods of healing and a lot of nurses actually do get involved in being a psychic or reading tarot cards or being an astrologer a lot of nurses do that it, it seems to be some kind of a natural progression from nursing into becoming interested in spiritual healing techniques in spirituality spiritual healing and also in the psychic world of, you know, being able to sense things and being able to also use natural means and spiritual means to try to help people that want help. So it is sort of a natural progression. Now, in astrology, narcissism expresses itself via the ego matrix of the personality. And although the ego is often thought to be that of a, of a showboat, you know, a real show-off or an ostentatious boaster, it can also slink into private exchanges as bogus humility. Pay no attention to one's own liabilities when broadcasting the blunders of other people and disallowing others the delight of getting to know the genuine person cloaked inside the ego out of a sense of fear or guilt or shame. So again, some of these people, they, they don't, you know, they, 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 ha they might have a bogus humility about them and not see their own faults while they're looking at everybody else's faults. As Jesus said, looking for the you know, don't look for the speck in my eye. Take care of the plank in your own eye, as the good book says. So, you know, even Jesus says that. And also, people don't want you, if someone with a narcissistic tendency that's too strong is not going to want you to get to know the, the authentic person they're hiding inside because they're either fearful or they're guilt-ridden, or they're having shame. Now, people, you know, would we'll talk about conceited people and narcissism. Keep in mind that a person that's being very superior, if they say, I'm superior to you in some way because of this or that, I'm superior, they actually have a deep inferiority complex because everything has an opposite side. In Kabbalah, we learn that no matter what it is, if it's a good quality, there's an opposite side there or it wouldn't exist. So if someone has a great amount of money, they have to have that amount of need for that money or they wouldn't have it. They have to have that much need, desire for it. And that need, that has to be a need. Okay? So it, understand there's always the other side of something. Now, every, every sign has its, its virtues, the angel, and its vices, its demons, or its devils. Every sign has it. For Virgo the Virgin, the main virtue is reliability. That's the, that's the angel. They're reliable. Very, very reliable. And the chief vice for the devil for, for Virgo is criticism. In that Virgo tends to criticize both the self, very severely, and others. And with Virgo, they tend to criticize the self more than others, to be, to be fair with them. But their divine tone is, I analyze. So this criticism comes from, from their perfectionist analysis and critique of themselves, which they're ruthless with themselves, and then of others. All right. Now, Virgo is all about serving others. With that said, Virgo does take great satisfaction in bringing the person that does not care about the self uh, in, in 
and being that person and, and kind, of, kind of arriving like the, like the Messiah, arriving as being the person that, that does not care about themselves. They're, you know, they're, they're going to kind of be about, I don't care about myself. Okay, I care about you, not myself. Or I care about others, not myself. That's how Virgo is going to present. And they're rather, they're, they're at their best when they're caring for those whom the Virgin of Virgo accommodates, serves, or loves. So Virgo is at their best when they are serving and caring for those they love or those they serve or those they accommodate. That's when they're at their best and that's when they're most happy. That's when they're in their milieu. That's when they're in their zone. When they're really able to be their most powerful. That service to others where they really shine and where they really enjoy being. Now, Virgo will serve others to their own detriment if the Virgin is not mindful to manage this astrological facet by scheduling in occasions for self-expression and self-care. It is specifically this neglect of self that can lead to the precise way in which narcissism can begin to become an encumbrance to Virgo's success and scatter the virgin's path in life. The way that a Virgo's hard work and dependable ego personality trait of being the one that everyone can count on can turn into a dilemma for the virgin is when Virgo begins to think that those cared for or those served so well are not giving back to the virgin, the virgin, not giving back to Virgo, not giving back to the Virgin in equal measure. So when Virgo feels that those that are being cared for so relentlessly and so well and so joyfully are not being, when they're not being reciprocated with the same kind of care, that is the, in the same measure, that is the point where Virgo begins to criticize the people closest to the Virgin, where Virgo begins to criticize the nearest and dearest because those are the ones that the Virgin has given to the most. And that is the ones where it's not coming back in the same amount. That's where Virgo begins to criticize that person they care about the most. And often these are the people Virgo loves the most. This criticism often drives loved ones away. Okay? Leaving Virgo immersed in sentiments of being unappreciated, unloved, and used. Okay? So th this is where, this is very, very important for if you are a Virgo, or if you have a lot of Virgo in your chart, or in important areas of your chart, or if you know people that are Virgos, this is where the narcissistic be goes from being something that makes one strong to where it begins to break up relationships and break up possibly even careers or you know, other kinds of things that the Virgin cares about where Virgo won't express themselves. They'll hold their talents in. They won't, you know, if they're a good dancer and people love... When, when they dance with them, they'll, never, they'll hardly ever do it because they, they just don't allow themselves that kind of fun or self-indulgence. But actually that helps other people because other people might love to dance with the Virgin, with Virgo. Or maybe some Virgos have a great skill for music and they don't, they don't share their music enough. They're, they hold it back and they're shy and only caring about others and they don't give the world their gift of music. That gets to be where... They're not being conceited, but you know what? They're not giving their gifts. And that can be so frustrating for people that want them to give their gifts. Now, so this, this is very important because Virgo will often feel very, again, used, unappreciated, and unloved. And that is not the case. It's just that they will drive someone away. Say, for example, Virgo has given so much to a, like a... A child, for example. And when that child grows up, Virgo wants that child to, to give back. And that child sends a gift. And that gift is, it, maybe the, the child that sent it thought it was a, a good enough or a big enough gift. 
but when the Virgo parent gets it, they'll go, this is small, small little thing. Ugh. They, they'll feel so sometimes like, that's nothing. I deserve so much more than Virgo feels because the Virgo, and the Virgo does deserve so much more. But what they don't understand is the person that gave it thought they were giving in full measure didn't know. And if you say that's not good enough, you know what happens? That person stops trying and they stop giving. And then you feel even more unloved if you're a Virgo, more unappreciated if you're a Virgo, and more used if you're a Virgo. So, understand you've caught, you've, you've, this is something that uh, Anthony Robbins taught when I read Anthony Robbins' book on personal power, that if you give a person pain when they're doing something that you want them to do, they're going to stop doing it. If, if, if somebody, if you, it's like training an animal. If you want the person to keep giving, you say, oh, thank you. Thank you. That's great. That's wonderful. I love this. Thank you so much. Don't say, but I want something more. Just say, thank you so much. This is great. I love it. And then the person will feel good about themselves. And if you act really happy every time they give to you, then they're going to want to keep giving. But if you say, oh, that's, I can't believe you gave me that. That's, that's not what I want. That's terrible. That's not good enough. It's not big enough. It's not expensive enough. It's not good enough. You're a terrible person for giving me that, a terrible kid or a terrible whatever for giving me that. Then you're, gonna, you're giving them so much pain and criticism, they are going to stop giving. And then you're going to feel worse, and they're going to feel worse, and the relationship breaks. Understand that. Now, how Virgo can keep mentally, emotionally, and physically healthy it's to understand that the people whom the Virgin supports and nurtures, they do want to give back. Virgo must let the important people in the Virgin's life bestow their gifts as well, even those gifts that you don't particularly care for. Now, Virgo must do two things to keep relationships healthy, very healthy and, and steadfast. To keep the relationships healthy, Virgo firstly will do well to nourish and cultivate the self. So Virgo, nourish and nurture and cultivate yourself. And Virgo also needs to express the self as much as possible. So if you are good at playing an instrument, play your instrument. If you're good at, at, at dancing, dance. If you're good at painting, paint. Paint and give. Don't hold your gifts back thinking you're not good enough or that people don't enjoy your gifts. Yes, they do. They want your gifts. Don't hold them back. Give. Okay? Now, uh, with that said, you're going to want to understand that, secondly, the Virgin will keep key relationships happy and robust by appreciating the often smaller gifts that others attempt to give back to Virgo. Like we said, with the child that gives a little gift, enjoy that gift and, and dance with the child or, or say thank you and, and, and say, you know, thank you and let's have some ice cream or something like that, you know? And then you show the give and take and encourage the give and take instead of criticizing so badly the, the kid's un, unappealing gift or whatever it is that the kid never wants to give again or something like that. Understand that. All right? That's the second point. So in other words, another point is that Virgo often has the impression of not being appreciated. That's really important. That's a big one with, with Virgo, that they don't feel appreciated. Indeed, because the offerings other people give to the Virgin are usually small or insignificant in comparison to the consistent and important gifts given by Virgo, the relationships often begin to sour. Okay, that's where it happens. When Virgo thinks that others are not grateful enough, what does the Virgin do? The Virgin, when they think, again, when the Virgin thinks that the relationships are, are, are souring, that's going to be because that others are, Virgo thinks that others are not grateful enough. So if you feel that your relationship with your parent or your kid or your friend or your spouse or your lover or whatever or your boss or your employee, if you feel that the relationship is beginning to sour, if it's beginning to just not feel fun and there's a lot of 
contention. That's because Virgo begins to think that others are not grateful enough and others begin to feel criticized to the point of pain where they don't want to be around it. Okay? That's, that's the secret. And this is going to be true about you even if you have like uh, a lot of, again, a lot of planets in Virgo, but your sun sign's not Virgo. So, you know, understand that. Now, when... Virgo, when Virgo does get the idea that others are not grateful enough, the Virgin begins to disapprove and disparage the gift giver, which in turn causes the contributor to stop contributing. This situation goes around and around and around until Virgo's admirer stops trying to give back due to sentiments of not being good enough. At this point, both individuals feel unacknowledged and the relationship becomes too painful to continue. Too painful to continue. All right? So this is how relationships with a Virgo that's expressing narcissism that's, that's beginning to get to be too much that's how this is going to affect the relationships and that's how the relationships begin to go sour and that is why if a narcissist is is a virgo and talking about you or or you know gossiping about you maybe saying things that aren't true and trying to trying to get people to be on their side instead of your side that's because this virgo feels unappreciated unloved and used and that happened because when the giver tried to give, the Virgo said, not good enough, and criticized, and produced so much pain to the giver that the giver stopped giving. If every time a dog uh, brings you, uh, you know, uh, your slippers, if you say thank you and pet it, it'll keep doing it. And if every time the dog brings your slippers and you hit it on the nose and say bad dog with the rolled up newspaper say bad dog it'll stop doing it so when you criticize you're giving pain so pain is criticizing is punishment so understand that you trained your child to not do something by giving it pain and to do something by giving it pleasure so whatever you encouraged grew and whatever you discouraged did not grow and that's true for everybody but in Virgo th this is especially important when we're talking about narcissism because it's better for Virgo to express the more conceited happy I'm great side of narcissism please I'm gonna play my instrument or I'm gonna play my instrument or I'm gonna dance or I'm gonna do this it's better for Virgo to be conceited you'll get along better with other people than to be that to feel that people don't appreciate you and feel res you know resentful or feel unloved or used you know, Virgo doesn't really get resentful more. They get more hurt and more feeling. They get down on themselves. You know, they get more hurt more than they, they don't really get resentful. They get hurt. So understand that those, those are dynamics that can be changed by simply cha changing the way you react to people when they do things. And that will bring you a lot more joy if you understand that basic dynamic because that's how it expresses the narcissism in a Virgo, in the sign of Virgo the Virgin in the natural sixth house of habits and health. Okay. Now, uh, again, uh, when, when, when the Virgo um, does it in a good way, Virgo will be nurturing and expressing yourself uh, and nourishing yourself and showcasing yourself. That's going to be the best kind of narcissism you can prevent uh, present to other people because and then that way you can prevent them from being uh, turned off by too much criticism okay and also when other people offer you a gift then again accept it with so much joy and have the the comprehension that that you are cheerful about it when the other person understands that you're cheerful about you about them giving and then they'll associate again the pleasure with with giving you gifts so 
I give you a gift, I get pleasure. Instead of I give you a gift, I get pain. And then they'll, like the dog with the slippers, they'll do it more. Okay? So don't, don't deny the, the world your marvelous gifts, Virgo. <laughs> Again, don't deny the world your marvelous talents, Virgo. You have a lot of talent and you hold back. Give your talents to the world. Because it's being, it's being stingy to not give your talents to the world. Give your talents. And you'll be happier and the world will be richer for it. Okay? Like, like the hermit card in the tarot deck. Uh, associated with the virgin's zodiac sign. Uh, you often conceal your light. And I have some tarot cards here. I'm going to try to find the hermit. Because Virgo, like the hermit card in, in the tarot deck, Here's the hermit card. The hermit card, this hermit has a light. And often this light, instead of letting it shine, the hermit often hides it under a cloak. Okay? So instead of doing that, let your light shine very brightly. And that's going to make people happier. And it's going to make you happier. And it's going to make other people happier. Let your abilities, your talents, your skills, your joy, your cheerfulness shine accept those gifts cheerfully and joyfully and, uh, and, and take better care of yourself. Pay more attention to yourself and a little less attention to others. And then that way you'll, you won't want to criticize them so much because you won't feel so used. And also if you have a, a passion just like for painting or as we said dancing or drawing or anything you have, if you like to build things, if you like to just, you know, go to the, you know, go to the beach or go for a hike, do what makes you happy, and what you have a passion for, and and you know, go with the people that, that you like. Go shopping, go shop with the people you love, or go dancing with the people you love. Those kind of things, or play musical instruments with the people you love, and entertain others with your virtuosity, and do it frequently, Virgo. If you have a fondness for any of these things, express yourself, care for yourself, express yourself. And your narcissism will be on the healthy side instead of on the unhealthy side. Everybody's a narcissist. Okay? So do this, Virgo, and your life will be even more successful, profitable, and it will be even more satisfying. And you will not feel used, you'll feel joyful and cheerful. Okay. Virgo is a wonderful sign that other people love to have around because when Virgos are around, people get taken care of, and they get taken care of very well. Now, the information that we're presenting in this video, and that are, we presented and written in the attached document, is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I've committed to my memory. Thank you for joining us. Join us again, and we'll see you soon.